Hello everyone, my name is Mike Cross. Uh, welcome to Stoichiometry Problem Number 4. On uh, this one we're going to be looking at a limiting reactant problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that would look like. So how many grams of sodium bromide will be produced if 51 grams of sodium hydroxide are reacted with 77 grams of um, hydrogen bromide or hydrobromic acid? Um, so in this case, notice that we're given two different numbers here, right? So we are told that we are going to be working with uh, 51 grams of sodium hydroxide and we're going to react that with 77 grams of um, HBr. So when we do this we're actually we're going to have to do two separate stoichiometry problems and then we're going to see which um, answer gives us the lowest amount uh, and then that's going to be our correct answer because that means that we're figuring out what we're running out of first and whatever we run out of first we cannot progress past that and so um, let's go ahead and um, look at our plan of attack real quick here and this um, again tells us how many steps each of these two problems is going to take so very first thing just like always we need to balance our equation right now looking at this we've got one sodium on each side We've got one bromine on each side. We've got, uh, let's see, two hydrogens and an oxygen. So it's already balanced, which is nice. If you'd like, you can go ahead and put ones here. And then let's go ahead and set up our um, stoichiometry problem. All right, so draw ourselves a couple of boxes here. All right, so it says, how many grams of NaBr? So I'm going to put question mark grams of NaBr. It's going to go in the um, right-hand corner. And I mentioned that I'm actually going to be running two separate problems. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the second one at the same time. And notice that on the second one, I'm still trying to figure out how many grams of sodium bromide I'm going to be producing. Okay. So we're going to have the same endpoint in either case. Now the difference is we're going to be starting at different points. So first, let's go ahead and start with 51 grams of sodium hydroxide for this problem. And for the next one, let's use our 77 grams of HBr. Okay. Now looking at both of these, I'm going from grams of one substance and turning it into grams of something else. So I'm going from grams of A to grams of B, looks like that's going to require three steps in each case. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself three boxes or dominoes for each of these. Okay. All right. And then looking at this, looks like, um, so we'll start with our sodium hydroxide. So we're going to need the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to put one mole of NaOH up here. And then looking at my periodic table, if I add up the uh, molecular weight of sodium and oxygen and hydrogen, that adds up to a nice even 40 grams of NaOH. Okay, that's good because that allows me to cancel out my grams of sodium hydroxide. Notice that that now gives me moles of sodium hydroxide. So now I'm at this balanced equation step. So I'm going to put moles of sodium hydroxide down here. That means because I'm trying to turn this into grams of NaBr, I'm going to put moles of sodium bromide right up here on top. Now remember that I get this from my balanced equation. So looking at sodium hydroxide, looks like there's a 1 in front of it. So I need a 1 in front of my uh, moles of sodium hydroxide there. Sodium bromide has a 1 as well, so I'm going to put a 1 there. Put away my red pen. And um, notice that that now allows me to cancel out my moles of sodium hydroxide. I've now converted that to uh, moles of sodium bromide, but the problem wants grams of sodium bromide. So I'm going to need another uh, molar mass step. So I'm going to write one mole of sodium bromide down here. 
looking at my periodic table, adding up the, the molar masses, um, that tells me that the molar mass of sodium bromide is about 102.89 grams of sodium bromide. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything cancels. So moles of NaBr cancel, grams of NaBr cancel. Everything canceled out nicely. So my final step is simply to um, plug and chug, right? Multiply across the top and then divide by the bottom. So in this case, 51 uh, times 1 times 1 times 102.89 and then divide by 40. Looks like this came out to about 131 um, grams, but because I only had two sig figs to start with, I'm going to go ahead and round that to 130 grams of sodium bromide. So that's, if we were to use up all of our sodium hydroxide, that's how many grams of sodium bromide we would get out of it. Now, we don't know for sure if we're going to run out of sodium hydroxide first, so we need to go ahead and run our second stoichiometry problem. So looking at our 77 grams of HBr, we're going to do the same steps. We're going to go ahead and do a molar mass of HBr, so one mole of HBr, and then um, looking up the molecular weight of HBr, it turns out to be about 80.91 grams. And again, that just comes off of the periodic table. We add up hydrogen and bromine, and uh, that gives us our molar mass. Make sure that our grams of HBr cancel. Um, we always want to double check that to make sure we didn't flip one of our conversion factors by mistake. Next, we have our balanced equation domino. So let's go ahead and put moles of HBr down here. And then we're trying to, again, turn it into grams of NaBr. So let's put moles of NaBr up here. Now you might think, why don't I just put grams of NaBr? Well, because a balanced equation domino or a mole to mole ratio has to have moles on both sides. It's the only way it works. So looking at this um, in my equation, HBr has a 1 in front, so I put a 1 there. Sodium bromide has a 1 in front, so I put a 1 there. All right, double check that moles of HBr cancel out very nicely. I now am left with moles of sodium bromide. Um, I'm going to use the molar mass to go ahead and convert that to grams. So 1 mole of NaBr. And notice that this is the same number as up here, right? So I can just put 102.89 grams of sodium bromide here. Double check that everything cancels out nicely. Moles of sodium bromide, grams of sodium bromide, everything canceled out nicely. So let's do a little quick plug and chug here. Make sure that um, we plug this in properly. So 77 times 1 times 1 times 102.89 and then divide by our denominator which is 80.91 and it looks like this time it comes out to about 98 grams of sodium bromide. So, which is our correct answer? Is it the 130 or is it the 98 grams of sodium bromide? Well, we always want to go with the lower of the two answers. Um, in this case, the 98 grams of sodium bromide is our correct answer. The reason is that um, this is telling us that when we use up all of our hydrogen bromide, our HBr, then all we're left with is 98 grams of sodium bromide. If we were to use up all of the sodium hydroxide, we'd end up with 130 grams, but we can't use up all of our sodium hydroxide because we ran out of um, HBr first. So our answer, again, is 98 grams of sodium bromide.